All right, let's get the Quen image model and its components set up in Comfy UI. We'll start by grabbing the main model files. Right now, I'm on the Comfy UI examples page, but I'm going to navigate to Hugging Face. First up, the GGUF model. For 8GB VRAM, choose this option. Press Download. Now I'll click on the link for the text encoder model. And we'll do the same for the VAE. Okay, with all the models downloaded, let's get them organized in the correct Comfy UI folders. I'll navigate into my Comfy UI folder Models and then Diffusion Models. Then I'll drag the GGUF file into the Diffusion Models folder and paste it here. I'll open the Text Encoders folder and drag the scaled Safe Tensors file into it. And finally, I'll go into the VAE folder and place the VAE Safe Tensors file there. All the models are in place. Now before we do anything else, I'll open the Comfy UI Manager and click on Update All to make sure Comfy UI itself is completely up to date. I'll confirm the restart to apply the updates. Now let's grab a sample workflow to get started. I'm going back to the Hugging Face page, and I'll click on the Example Workflows link. To download the workflow, I'll click RAW, press Ctrl and S to save the JSON file. Back in Comfy UI, I'll load that workflow by going to Workflow and Open. Select the workflow file. Okay, in the UNet loader, we are going to choose the GGUF file we just downloaded. For the load VAE, we'll select the Quen image VAE. And for the load clip, we'll click the FP8 scaled safe tensors. It's time to test the workflow. I'm pasting in a cyberpunk themed prompt. Now I'll click run. And there we have it. The first image is generated successfully. I'm going to enter another similar prompt. While that's going on, let's check and see how much time it took to generate our last image. A little over 8 minutes. While we're at it, to refresh the front-end preview images for your templates in Comfy UI, go into your main Comfy UI folder and run the update Comfy UI bat file. This will open a terminal window and automatically pull the latest updates from the Comfy UI repository, including front-end assets like template thumbnails. In case you don't see the latest ones,
Back in Comfy UI with the update finished, a new image is ready. A wolf in a neon-drenched city. Looks great. I was testing out the CFG from 4.5 to 3.7 and found that on 3.7 it generated the images in under 4 minutes without loss in quality. So for some reason my generations were all taking more than 8 minutes to generate and decided to speed up the workflow. I included the Sage Attention and the FP16 accumulation along with Allura. Sage Attention makes image generation faster and lighter on VRAM. FP16 accumulation speeds things up by using lower precision math. You can check the link for the video on how to install these in the description. Also I'll include this workflow to make things easier. Allura Loader applies Allura file to your base model and controls how strongly it affects the image. Go back to the Hugging Face page and download the Quen Image Lightning Lora, and place this file into the Loras folder. Then update Comfy UI again. The Quen Image Lightning took 4 minutes, 42 seconds to generate. While the Light X2V took 3 minutes 55 seconds to generate. These are while using the CFG at 3.7. And the quality between them were still identical. I found that Light X2V released a new Quen image, Lightning 1.1 LoRa model on their Hugging Face page. Quen image Lightning, 8 steps V1. Point 1 is faster and more stable than V1.0 with smoother textures and less fuzziness. Compared to Light X2V, it keeps strong text clarity and realism. From here, you'll press download. Click on ComfyY, then Models, and place the file into the Loris folder. Go back to your ComfyY. Press Manager and Update All. Now in the Loris Loader model, you'll notice the Quen Image Lightning 1.1 model. Choose this option. Now we'll press Run. Wow, look at the difference here. This took almost 8 minutes with the CFG at 3.7. The results are absolutely stunning. Every detail is razor sharp, and the image looks way cleaner and more polished than the 1.0 and Light X2V. Let's run another similar prompt. Just like the first, this second image came out flawless, crisp edges, vibrant colors, and every detail perfectly rendered. I decided to adjust the CFG to 4 for this generation. It took 7 minutes to generate. Let's see how long it take for the Light X2V to generate with the CFG at 4. So, having the CFG at 4 using the Light X2V brought the generation time back to 5 and half minutes. I'm going to switch back to the 1.1 version and adjust the CFG to 4.5 and see the difference in results.
You can see it takes five and a half minutes to generate them this way without losing any quality. So comparing the Light X2V with the Quen Image Lightning 1.1, I would choose the Quen Image Lightning 1.1 while having the CFG at 4.5. It brought the generation time to the same as the Light X2V while gaining a huge quality difference. For more tutorials like this, smash that subscribe button and stay tuned.